Hello, I'm Puno, and I'm here at Girl Boss HQ to guide you through the murky waters of business owning. I know when it comes to business, there are a thousand voices out there telling you a million things to do, and that means there's going to be a lot of conflicting advice. So I'm going to make it really easy for you. I've done the dirty work, talked to the tons of experts, and read like way too many articles. And I'm going to share that all with you. Let's get out your Chromebook and make you the girl boss of your dreams. Okay, data. Not for you unless you're a number crunching pro, right? Wrong. Every entrepreneur and leader should have some grasp of data and know how to use that data to make better business decisions. So today I'm going to show you why data is important, show you how super helpful it can be to websites just like Girlboss, and then help you set up your own Google Analytics account so you can get started already. I'm going to show you some great free ways to collect and analyze your own data. That way you can use your brain to make the smart, informed business decisions that will help you conquer the world. So how does data help a business day to day? Megan Robb, the senior manager of audience development at Girlboss, helped me understand how they use data to choose what kind of content to produce. She shared this chart that breaks down the popularity of content on the Girlboss website. As you can see, articles about work and money are our most popular. Megan was particularly interested in the work section. So she used Google Analytics to break down the most popular work articles. And doing that, she found that the most popular work articles were ones about job searches. Megan took that greater understanding of what the audience loved and pitched a series of super readable, highly informative articles about looking for jobs. That led to the series, The Best Jobs on LinkedIn. Pretty smart. Here's a graph of how normal content performs on the site compared to the average for the job series. As you can see, the series was a huge hit. Well above the site average. Nice work, Megan. So when you use data to figure out what your viewers love, you're able to deliver more of that content to them. And in return, often you're going to see site traffic increase, just like Megan did. Total win-win. But sometimes it feels like you have to be a business expert or at least a math genius to figure out all that data crunch. Guess what? That's totally not true. I'm going to share a program that will collect data for you and then spit it all out back in a totally readable, understandable, and also super pretty graph chart and report. And that game-changing app is Google Analytics. It's free, customizable, and as I'm about to show you, super duper detailed. Once you have the app, it's going to get you all signed up with an account. Then it will generate a tracking code just for you. The tracking code is kind of the key to this whole thing. It allows Google Analytics to run on your website and collect all that data that you need. So it's so, so important that you take that code, then either have a web designer put it on your website or Google tutorials for how to do it yourself. Otherwise, Google has nothing to track. Let's start by going through the kinds of reports you can check out. They're over here on this left bar, and these reports are how Google Analytics delivers you all that data it's collecting. You can see stuff like info about your audience here, like demographics, interests, and what browsers they're using. But what about what Megan did at Girlboss? That's behavior data. Behavior reports track what people do once they're on your website, how long they spend on certain pages, you know, that kind of stuff. So to find that info, we're going to go over here to behavior, scroll down to site content, and then click on product categories. 
So here we can see all the different products are performing in terms of page views. Now I'm gonna be real. We only just barely scratched the surface on this one. Google Analytics is pretty much a never-ending fountain of information, all of which can help you grow your business. So if you wanna do a much deeper dive, check out Google Analytics Academy. It's a program that uses tutorials and demos to teach you how to read and understand your data. And trust me, they can get much more specific on all of this than I can. So let's make sure to, number one, get Google Analytics working for you. Get the app, create an account, and put that tracking code on your website. Number two, start checking your conversions, behavior, and acquisition reports to see how readers are interacting with your site. And then number three, use Google Analytics Academy to learn how to tailor your data collection to your needs. Not so hard, right? Now go out there and make super smart, informed decisions about how to build your business. I'm Puno, and I'm out. Bye.